السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا بكم أتشك بس إذا كان التليفون شغال المايكروفون شغال تمام طيب Today we start إن شاء الله lecture 5 adders and subtractors Uh, we uh, will talk about the design of ripple carry adder. Then we will talk about uh, how to design half adders. Then we will talk about how to implement using half adder, how to implement full adders. Uh, and then we will talk about how to design the BCD adders. The BCD adders is just the decimal adders uh, from zero to nine. And of course you can extend the BCD from one digital to multiple digitals. For example, you can count up to nine or count up to 99 and so on. Uh, the ones and twos complement is very important concept that we are going to use today for the addition and subtraction. So for example, if you want to, especially subtraction, if you want to subtract to uh, uh, binary numbers, maybe you can, uh, convert the operation from addition to from subtraction to addition using the ones and twos complement. We'll talk about this uh, in detail. We'll talk about the ones and twos complement in detail, inshallah. Uh, the design of binary subtractor, then uh, design of binary adder and subtraction, we are, do, we are going to talk about how to make uh, one circuit for uh, addition and subtraction at the same time. Then finally, we'll take a binary multipliers. I think, I think we'll not uh, delve into binary multipliers in this uh, lecture, but inshallah, in the coming lectures, we will cover most of the details about my binary multipliers. Binary arithmetic circuit. Um, uh, our, the first thing we will talk about is the addition. Binary addition is similar to decimal arithmetic. Is like uh, if you say one plus one is two, and two is represented by one zero in binary. One plus one plus one is uh, three, and uh, three is, uh, is represented by one one in binary. So this is exactly the same as decimal operations. We have zero plus one is equal to one, zero plus zero is equal to zero, one plus zero is equal to one, one plus zero is equal to one, zero plus one is equal to one. That's it, no carries, means that we don't have carry. We uh, Carry means that we have uh, uh, the input is five uh, positions or five digits, and the output is also five digits. If the output is more than five digits, then we will say th there is a carry. If there is, uh, if there is no uh, carry or no uh, extra digit, we will say no carry. Uh, so this is the half adder, actually. The half adder is like uh, in implementing the addition of two binary numbers, no carry. But if we have carry, we will talk about the, uh, the full adder. Here we have a full adder check. That means we need uh, to check the carry. We have here zero plus, uh, zero plus one is equal to one with a carry of zero. Zero plus one plus one is equal to zero one because we know that zero one is three. So this is zero and remainder is one. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1, which is uh, 3, uh, which is uh, what? 2, 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 3, yes. But here is 2, yes. 1 plus 1 is 2. I, I said it is 3, but it is not 3. 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0, 1, which is 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, 1. 1, 1 is 3. So I put 1, and then we have a carry of 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1 with a remainder of zero, and then zero plus one plus one is equal to zero, and with a remainder of one. We have a remainder, we have extra remainder here. Uh, we know that we have a carry. We will talk about how to check for this sum. Uh, sometimes we will talk about how to implement a sign for the number. We'll talk about this extra digit. So this is the carry. The input is five digits, but the output is six digits. Now we should uh, talk about the uh, uh, half adder, the circuit of half adder. Uh, the half adder is simple. We, we don't think about carries. 
we just uh, carry that move to the other uh, the other cycle or the other bits we we'll just uh, have two bits output the zero and the, the uh, sorry the carry and the sum so zero plus zero is equal to zero and the carry is zero zero plus one is equal to one and the carry is zero one plus zero is equal to one and the carry is zero one plus one is is, is zero and the carry is one if you look at this circuit is exactly what is exactly if you say some how to represent some as a circuit it is one one in the middle this is exactly the uh, xor yeah this is an xor circuit because s is equal to uh, x dash y and, uh, or x y dash so x dash y or x y dash so this is x or circuit so x x or y this is the circuit that we should implement as a half other and what about the carry? The carry is just the logic of and and the logic because it is always zero unless it, the, the both uh, input are one. The, the result will be one. This means this is an and circuit. So C equal X and Y and we can represent the half other with simple XOR circuit and simple and circuit. This is an half other. Half other means it, there is no input for the carry. There is no input. The, the inputs are two inputs. They are not three inputs. If they are three inputs, this is full adder. And we'll talk about full adder uh, soon. So we can <clears throat> no carry in. So there is no carry in. This means that we can uh, sum two bits without uh, carry in. But what about the full adder? Actually, I told you about this information before that uh, the half adder is just the, the two, uh, sorry, the full adder is just the two, two half adders. Two halves is equal to one. So this is two halves is equal to full. The full adder can be implemented uh, uh, theoretically by truth table, but also, we can implement it using the half adder. We can use two half adders to make a one full adder. We'll talk about this now. Here, we can add carry in here. If you see, we have three inputs. It's not two inputs as a half, half adder, but this is full adder. So it can car have a carry in with a sum, which is the result of addition, and the carry output, which is the carry that maybe in the ripple binary adder, we can move it to the other full adder, the next full adder. So this is the truth table of the full adder. If you look at the full adder here, we have zero, zero, zero. Uh, we sum all of them together. We have the sum is zero and the carry is one, zero. Uh, okay, let's take an example. Uh, one plus zero plus zero is equal to one. And the carry is zero. What about this one? One plus one plus zero is equal to zero. And the remainder is one. Here, one plus one plus one is equal to one, and the remainder is one. Uh, look, okay, how to implement this? You look at the the, the ones here. If you want to, uh, if you want to implement the, the 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 sum, if you look at the ones here, you see that we have here ones. You see, they are ones without zeros beside them, only ones. And about the zeros, the complement of the sum, you see here we have the, the, the carry. Okay, we'll talk about the carry. The carry is just the uh, non, non uh, the, the, the two ones, the, the inputs with two ones, exactly the two ones. Here two ones, here two ones, and here two ones. We'll talk about how to add the circuit for the third one. Uh, so here, return back, uh, we will talk about the sum, we talk about single ones, and when we talk about the carry, we talk about two ones, okay? It's like, if you see, it's like what? It's like XOR2, it's like, it's similar to XOR. And this carry is similar to AND circuit. Okay, let's go, go into the detail. 
because we need to add extra ones here because this is not considered in the carry or the sum, but we have to consider another circuit to implement this part, both in carry and sum, because it is shared between them. It is shared between the carry and the sum, so we can have a common circuit to implement it. Okay, map, all the kind of map. If you look at the kind of map for implementing the sum, you see the sum is just XOR because there is no there is no ones together beside each other. There is no neighbor one, there are no no neighbors, no neighbors here. So this means that we can uh, so that we can consider actually as the, uh, the the we can consider sorry we have a, um, an alert on my phone so I'm looking to my phone sorry about that but anyway here we has one we have one 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 they are not neighbors so we cannot we cannot what we cannot simplify it but it is it is simply the x or between x y and z because we know that they are not neighbor as I told you before. This is x, x or y, x or z. x, x or y, x or z. We can implement it using a single x or with three input or two x ors with two inputs. The kind of map for the carry. If you see the carry here, so the kind of map is like that. Is c equal to this part? Is we can conclude. Uh, we can we can exclude x because. Here, this is y, z, this is y, z. Here, we can exclude the, the y, so it is x, z, this is x, z. And here, we can exclude y, this is x, y. Uh, sorry, this is x, we, we can exec here, we can exclude z, so this is x, y, which is x, y. This is the simple implementation of both uh, uh, circuits. If you see, we have an AND, as I told you before, it's just an AND, and the, the previous one is XOR. Uh, but here we have three, three, uh, uh, three XOR and one, uh, sorry, we, we have three AND gates and one OR gate. Uh, and this implementation, this is the simplification uh, after the kernel of map, we have the sum is equal to this expression. The carry is equal to that expression, and how to implement the optimized Boolean function directly? Okay, how many gates we need? So, if you count how many gates we need, this number of and gates, and uh, we have uh, nine gates uh, because they have seven and gates one, two, three, four, uh, four here, there, and three here. So, this is seven gates. And the two OR gates, the two OR gates with the, the first one with three inputs and the second one with, the, with two inputs. So we have a total of nine gates. The nine gates are too much. Yeah, it's too much. Can we do better? Yeah, we can do better than that just by using the half adder. We can uh, use two concepts here, the shared logic and the hierarchical design. The hierarchical, I always misspell uh, the hierarchical design, so you forgive me about that because this is a long story with, with the hierarchical design. Uh, so shared logic and the hierarchical design is uh, the uh, are the two main uh, uh, design concepts that you have to understand today because uh, the, uh, the, the subjects is all about design. So you know, it is like, uh, okay, you studied how to implement full adder. Okay, you implemented ha uh, uh, half adder before, but the design concepts are new for you. So you have to understand how to think like a designer, like a designer, not, not like a, a learner who is just learning the binary addition, binary subtraction. You need to implement uh, the uh, circuit with good design uh, behavior. So we think about shared logic and the hierarchical design. Then we can uh, move by we can move on and design this circuit by using two half adders instead of using the that long expression. We can think about the 
output of the the the, the Karnov map, the two expressions we put them on our on uh, we put them in uh, in the I mean we put them uh, and we starting with them we start to think how to implement them using half adder. We have the half adder. This is s x uh, x uh, x or y, and the c is x and y. And we can think about the full adder is just s equal x x or y x or z, and the c is x y or x z or uh, y z. If you see, we have x y here. This is an end. We need to have the end gate for the three inputs. We have three inputs, so we have to think about how to end three inputs. We put two half adders together like that, and then S is equal to what? Is is equal to X, X or Y, X or Z. So we have here X, the X, X or Y. The output here, we can connect it. We can just connect this one to here. And this is X, Y, and then we put Z here. This Y, this way, S is equal to X, X or Y, X or Z, okay? And for the carry, the, and for the carry, we have X, Y, this is an AND, OR, so we have an OR here, sorry. We can put an OR here. Yes, we can put an OR here. This OR is what? Is X an OR Y? This is the first input. X or Z, X or Z. Sorry, X, Y there. X, Z, so we have an, another AND gate for X, Z, this one. This is an X, Z, or AND. And the last one is Y, Z. So one from here, we have to add another AND. This is Y, and this is Z. We put them together here to the carry. So this is the carry implemented using the X or, uh, sorry, the, the two half adders. <clears throat> and this is the X, Y, and how to implement this. We can think even with better than, you know what I have done now? I have added another extra AND gate, but we will not use this extra AND gate because we will use the concept of logic shell. Let's talk about how to make the logic shell. Here is like we have x, y, we have x, da, y dash, z, and we have x dash, y, z. N now we can have a common factor of this component. So what x, z, sorry, z, and uh, x dash, y, and x, y dash. If you see, this is just an x or between x, x and y. The, this way, we will have already existing uh, the, the x or between x and y. Together with the z and the together, then we will already existing x, y. So we'll not that need that extra AND gates. We, we need only uh, two AND gates. They are already existing. So if you look at the full adder, the circuit of the full adder, you see it's like that. You Yes, two AND gates only, better than my design because I didn't think even about how to implement or how to uh, add the functionality or the design concept of uh, uh, the design of the concept of share, logic share. It's very important. The hierarchical design is just, the hierarchical design is just uh, using uh, two half adder to make a full adder and use uh, Two, many full adders to implement a ripple adder. Uh, this is the concept of hierarchical design. And the, the shared logic is the concept that we are re we're already using the already existing, the already calculated, this one. Uh, yes, we use the X or here between X and Y together with Z to have this component in the end and uh, entered to the OR gate and together with the X and Y, and it to the OR gate to have to have the, to have the, to obtain the carry. Okay, 
So this way we can have the implementation of the full of the full adder using two half adders. And the implementation here, x and y, if you see, this is an x, y, and this one is x, x or y. Here, we added them together. Yes, this is z and x, x or y, and here x, y, together we entered them to obtain the carry. Yes, the carry is here, okay. Binary rebel, ripple uh, carry adder, binary ripple carry, uh, carry adder, this is a parallel binary adder. If we want to implement a, an adder that can add more than two bits, we want to have uh, an adder that can implement, for example, uh, uh, five bits, or you can say uh, we can implement uh, have adder to uh, uh, four bits uh, or eight bits according to whatever we need. How to do that? We have the uh, parallel binary adder can be implemented by using multiple full adders. So a parallel binary adder is a digital circuit that produces the arithmetic sum of two binary numbers using only combination logic. Uh, the parallel adder uses uh, n full adders in parallel. So if we need uh, 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 four bits full, uh, full adders or ripple adder, we can use four full adders in parallel to uh, connect together, we can lock them in cascade. And uh, like that, exactly, this is the shape of the ripple uh, binary adder for four bit, four bit ripple binary adder starting from A0 to A3. And the second number is starting from B0 to B3. These are the two numbers that we need to add. We add them together, but we consider C0. If we want C0, uh, accordingly, we can put C0 equal to zero because we don't have a carry in here to this circuit. Then the carry, after the addition of the two bits, the two least significant bits, we have, maybe we have a carry, so we pass this carry to the second uh, full adder. Then after adding the C1 and A1 and B1 together, we can have the sum and the carry is passed to the next full adder. So we add C2, C, uh, A2, B2, and we have a result of S2 and the carry of C3. C3 is passed to the final stage here of the full adder, of the ripple adder, which is the last full adder, is adding C3 to A3 to B3 uh, with the result of S3 and the carry of C4. This is how the, the binary ripple carry adder is working. We can put this just set it to zero because we don't have carry in to the ripple for adder. We can design it using hierarchical design. We have a full adder here, uh, but we have a problem. We have a problem to uh, here. We have a problem, very big problem, which is a delay. The delay because this circuit cannot uh, cannot uh, produce correct output unless it has an input from this circuit. The last one should wait for FA, FA, FA until it takes the last, uh, it, wait, it waits for C1 and C2 and C3 until it gets the C3 correctly, then it can have the correct S3 and C4. This means we can have, we can, uh, we can even calculate it simply by calculating the delay in each stage, we have four stages here. For example, if this stage is uh, TD, so we have four TD because they are symmetric. They are the same, they are implemented using the same circuit. So we can calculate it easily by multiplying the delay of one, uh, one circuit by four, by N, which is, is the number of bits for this uh, ripple adder. <clears throat> so the, how to call this? We call this is what? This is a propagation delay. We call it, this is the propagation delay. Uh, the length of time uh, to propagate the ripple carry from the least significant bit to the most significant bits. Uh, that's if we see here, the carry is moved from uh, the right hand side circuit to the left hand side circuit, then moving to the left hand side circuit and left hand side to find one to get the C4. 
four and this four as we explained before. And the gate level propagation path for four best rivet carry adder of the last, of last example. This is just an explanation of the uh, propagation delay and the, uh, the time needed to, uh, uh, the, the time needed to implement or to have, to, ha to have, to have, not to have, ha to have the correct output. Actually, <clears throat> actually, there are uh, there are some kind of circuits used in the addition is better than the circuits. They don't have delay, but they are not the subject. They are not uh, contained in the subject of this. Uh, they are not con con contained in the material of this subject. Binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal. They recall binary coded decimal. We recall it because we have to, because we already studied in previous, uh, previous subjects. <clears throat> Sorry, we studied the binary coded decimal previously, uh, but we have to remind uh, each other with it. Each dec decimal digit is represented by four bits, zero to nine. They are valid combinations. So if you look at this zero to nine, they are valid combination, but 10, to, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, they are invalid combination. This is the BCD. Just if you uh, want to make a digital, uh, digital uh, segment or digital display uh, to display numbers on, for example, on the waiting queue of a uh, big restaurant so you can you can you have uh, the seven segment display with one digit you have to use zero to nine or two seven segment displays with two digits so you can count from zero to 99 and so on the one decimal digit plus one decimal digit this is the the addition of two uh, BCD numbers. If I want to add two BCD number, we have two cases. If the result is less than nine, this means it, it can have the direct in output. For example, if we have one zero one zero, which is five, plus one plus uh, one one zero zero, which is three, and we add them together, one plus one equals zero. The carry of one zero. 1 plus 0 plus 1 equals 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is a, is, a, is a 1 with a carry of 0. This means we have here what? This is 8. And this is 5 plus 3 is 8. And this is no problem at all. Because, you know, this is less than 9. The result here is less than 9. So there is no problem in this addition because we don't need a correction. But the problem is what? The problem, if we have two decimal number and the sum of the two decimal numbers is greater than 10, this is a disaster because we don't have this. Uh, we said that the range of 10 to 15 is invalid. For example, here we have one plus one. We have five plus five, which is one plus one equal to zero is a carry of one. One plus zero plus one, zero is equal to one. One plus one is equal to zero is a carry of one. This is one plus zero plus zero is one. This means zero, one, zero, one, which is 10. 10 is not correct. You know what? The, the, this is not, this is actually zero, uh, uh, two, uh, and four. And this is 10, but there is no representation of 10. Actually, we don't have a representation of 10. This is one digit and represented only by one digit, but this is there. This these are two digits, so we need to have one extra number here because if we have if we we represent that, we can have one cell to represent ten. This is one cell. This is one cell to represent eight is okay, but we don't have. For example, we have seven segment. This is a seven segment display. We cannot display this on one seven segment display. That's what you say. Uh, you, maybe you say this is correct because the addition of the two binary numbers is correct. There is no problem here. But we, the problem is, 
we have only one digit here, which is 10. We want to display it only one seven segment display. This is impossible. This is impossible. We cannot do that. We have to make a correction. What is the correction? So you see, we cannot display the 10 on just one. Uh, we have to make it like that. We have to make to use two, uh, two uh, seven segment displays. The first one two zero and the second one two one is not like that. This is not correct because this is just ten, and the ten is one digit. Is not one digit actually. It is two digits. How to do that? This is not correct. How to do that? We have to make it like that. Uh, we have to make a correction, adding six. So you add six to the result. Zero plus zero is equal to zero with a carry of zero. One plus one is zero with a carry of one. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1, and 1 plus 1 plus 0 is a, is a 0 with a carry of 1. This one is here, if you see, it is shifted to the next digit. Here we can represent this is by 0, and this is represented by 1. So here we have two, the, uh, two uh, seven segment displays uh, the, one, the first one for 0, the second one for 1. This is correct. This is correct. So if we have the result of addition greater than nine, we have to make a correction. What is the correction actually is to add six to the sum. These are two decimal digits. We can add more than that. We can expand our BCD addition to more than two digits actually. Uh, why we add uh, six? Uh, we are, this is simple because we have uh, starting from one zero one to one one one. Uh, the difference between uh, nine and uh, six. Uh, uh, what? The difference between nine and five? Yeah, from ten to fifteen. Uh, if you count them, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. They are six digits. These digits are not valid, so we have to skip them. That's why we add six. We add six to skip the invalid range. That's why we, uh, because the difference between 15 and 96, and you uh, produce uh, 10 by using one zero, as I told you, two digits, not one digit. Okay. Here we have another example. We have eight plus five is two and one. Uh, this is three, 13 is greater than nine. So we have to make a correction. We add six, we add six to the result, which is 13, we add six here. The result is zero, zero, one, together with one here. This one is eight. Uh, sorry, this one is one and this one is three. So it is one, three. <clears throat> okay, how to design the BCD adder that adds two BCD digits? This is a difficult question and this is difficult. You have to concentrate with me because this circuit is containing some kind of logic. Yeah, so uh, it needs some concentration. Addiction circuit that detects invalid BCD digits will need to be designed because we have a range that invalid range. We have to, to have a kind of circuit that detected the uh, result is in the uh, invalid range or not. We have the normal uh, four bit binary adder, like the ripple adder that we have studied before. We have the add and the organs uh, together added to have the result here with an input carry. We have to check for the result if it is invalid or not. So according to uh, the, this detection circuit, we have to add uh, either to add zero to the result or add six to the result. If the um, if the uh, result is greater than nine, so we have to add six. If the result is less than nine, so no need to add anything or you can add zero. This is like if else, if you study Java or C++, actually, this is kind of a detection circuit that, you know, th maybe this is the first time for you to see an if else statement implemented by hardware. This is if else statement implemented by hardware this is and this is not like uh, flexible if and if else it is just 
for a specific combination, a chicken combination, specific combinations. It is not general one. According to the detection, so we can see if the output is zero uh, is uh, is greater than nine or not. According to if it is greater than nine, we add six. If it is less less or equal to than uh, nine, so we can leave it uh, or add zero to it. And then according to the addition, we add to another. We have another uh, four bit binary adder to get the correct sum. It's like uh, we have two stages of addition. The first one is adding the two BCD and we check the output if it needs a correction or not. If it needs a correction, we add six. If it doesn't need a correction, we add zero. And this is the addition circuit that make the correction. Here, the implementation of the circuit, we have uh, the, uh, the two parameters that need to be added together using the Four bit binary adder, and this is the output, which is Z3. This Z3 is the least, the most significant bit here, and Z0 is the least significant bit. Here we have uh, uh, the uh, the output with uh, represented with the combination here, uh, but this combination is the greater than nine. This is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are the invalid range. These are the invalid. How to check if the if this is an invalid range? How to check? Uh, this is the check circuit. If you see, this is two AND gates and one uh, one OR gate. But let us look. Uh, let's look nearly here. This is the only range that have one one. If you check even the previous values from zero to uh, nine, you will not find the last two bits uh, are one one. All of them either one zero or one zero or zero zero like that. But the, these are the, the, uh, uh, the combination uh, starting from uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are from uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, because I mix it between them. So it's starting from backward. Uh, so it's 15, uh, for 14, 13, 12. These are the invalid combination. These are the invalid combinations, so you have to check using the last two digits. They, are, they, they, they have a common th uh, pattern here. All of them have the last two bits with one. This means we can use an AND gate between Z3 and Z2. Look at Z3 and Z2. This is an AND gate between Z3 and Z2. We can check for the invalid range from 15 to 15, 14, 13, 12. To 12. But we still have 11 and 10. How to check for 11 and 10? We have to check with different criteria here. So it's. So how to check the other two values? 15, 14, 15, 14, 13, 12. We have 11 and 10. How to check them? If you check the binary presentation, we'll find the these are the only digits that they have one here and one here others they don't have one one in these positions other numbers even from zero to nine so these are uh, the z3 and z1 they have only ones here so we check with an and gate so we check with an and gate between z3 you see z3 and z2 okay and the carry, also, if you know that we have a carry here, that we know that the, the addition is greater than nine. If we have a carry, this means that this circuit is uh, having a carry and uh, it is greater than nine. So either we have a carry, either we have two ones in the last two positions, or either we have uh, two ones at Z3 and Z1, Accordingly, we will have one here, one here. If we have an, an invalid range, we will get one, okay? So if this is an invalid range and this is zero, this means that we have one, one. Zero, one, one, zero. This is the representation of six. But if this is valid range, this means the output will be zero. And this means that we have zero, zero, zero zero either we have zero one one zero which is six 
or we have zero, 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 which is zero. This means we add either we have, if we have an invalid range here, we add six. If we have valid range here, we add zero to the result. And the BCD sum is zero. Okay, I hope you understand this circuit because this circuit is very fundamental to understand how to represent the logic of something. If a statement is implemented here, just simply by using hardware. You look at the carry too, if you think about the carry, we have the carry according to the, the value of the carry here is one, if it is one, so we have zero, one, one, zero. If it's zero, so we have zero, 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 add it to the last stage. Now, binary subtraction. The binary subtraction is uh, implemented uh, by the, uh, the the concept of uh, Boro. Uh, you know about Boro, I, I believe. If, the, if one of the numbers is greater than the other, so we subtract big number from small, so we have to borrow. If we subtract a big number, uh, it's a small number from big number, so we don't have to borrow anything. So here, this is very simple. If you want to uh, subtract these two numbers, so one minus one is equal to zero. This one minus zero is equal to what? Two, we have to borrow the one zero from here. This means we have one minus two, which is one. And one minus zero, we have to borrow again here is one zero so this is one and the, the, this one is like a zero and here we will repeat the the the, the 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 borrow here but we will not borrow from the neighbor one we borrow from the, uh, the bigger values you know this is a bigger value this is most significant this is most significant bit this is least significant bit here, like uh, here, is, this is one, this is in, in decimal, this is 10, this is 100. If I want to borrow something from here, I, I borrow 10, but here I borrow 100. So it's like borrowing four from here, passing to here to borrow two. So two is uh, divided, uh, the location of one here is represented by two, and we have two here, so it's a total of four because this position is represented by four. We subtract one from two, which is one, and zero from one is equal to one, and last zero minus zero, which is zero. This is the result. If you want to check it, you will find this is 77 minus 23, which is 54. We managed to design an adder easily. There's, there is no uh, problem in, have, uh, in, in obtaining a full adder using two half adders, using the hierarchical design. And also, what about the subtraction? We will not, we will need a subtractor. This is very difficult, you know? We want to borrow, this is a disaster. Can we be perform the subtraction by reusing the adder circuit we designed earlier? Can we have that? Yes, we can actually we can use the concept of complements. So the complement is just adding the, um, the complement of the, uh, the, 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 the subtracted number, uh, the Z. So we complement Z to have uh, the addition between Y and the complement of Z, which is the same as subtraction. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, we are not able to make a subtractor, but we can use adder to make a subtractor. We can use addition to make a subtractor. So uh, the concept of addition, subtraction by complements, if you uh, need uh, to uh, uh, subtract two numbers, you can use the complement to convert the subtraction into addition to make it easier to uh, for the circuit to uh, uh, subtract two numbers is using the addition circuit. Here, there are two types of complements for each base R system, the radix complement, the R's complement, and the, 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 the diminished radix complement, which, which is R minus one's complement. So in decimal, we have tens complement and nines complement, and for binary, we have two's complement and one's complement. 
The nine's complement of decimal number is obtained by subtracting each digit from digit from nine. Yes. So, for example, uh, the complement, the nine's complement of this number, is uh, is subtracting uh, from uh, what, how many nines? This is uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six nines here. We subtract them from the nines to have this number. This number is a complement of that number. We can add, uh, okay, we can use this number in, in addition operation uh, and the result will be subtraction. It's like that. So uh, the tens of complement is just by adding one to the nines of complement. We have the nines of complement here. If we add one, we get the tens of complement. So for example, for example, the tens of complement of this number just subtracting that number from nines and then add one to the result, we obtain this number. This is the tensor complement of the number. Uh, for example, here we can have the, uh, the, the, the tensor complement directly by subtracting from uh, how many positions. This is six positions, one million. We subtract this number from one million to get the uh, tens of complement. <clears throat> we can have, uh, yeah, I mean, we have uh, very uh, common ways to do that, but I will tell you about uh, that in the tools complement, it, it will be direct better than that. So now we, ca we can subtract uh, that number from three, two, five zeros. Okay, let me have an example here. Let me have an example, simpler example for you to understand the, the use of uh, subtraction. Okay, let's have very simple, uh, 55. Okay, let's take 55 minus 22. What is the result of this one? This is 33. Okay, I want to convert this operation to addition. So I take the complement of 22. I take the complement just by subtracting 22 from 99 because we have two position. This is 77. 77 plus one because we need the tensor complement. This is 87. Okay. Now we <clears throat> add 55 plus uh, 78 to see the result. The result is what? 8 plus 5 is 13. 13, we have a carry of 1, so we put the carry here. So it 8 plus 5 is also 13. This means we have 33, and then we have extra digit here. This extra digit is a sign digit. This means this is a plus value. This is a plus value. This is just a sign and this is a plus value. If it's zero, this means it is negative value. The result is negative, but here 99 minus 22, this, uh, sorry, 55 minus uh, 22, this number is bigger than this number. This means the result is plus 33. This is representation, just plus 33. What about there is the opposite? If we want to subtract 22 from 90, from 55, okay? What is the result? This should be minus 33. How to do that? We take the complement of 55. We subtract 55 from 99. <clears throat> this means 44. We add one to have the tens complement. This is 54. And here we have a 54 we add 22, this is the operation, this is the addition, this is, I, now, this is subtraction, I convert it to addition, this is addition, convert it to addition, 22 plus 45 is equal to what, is equal to 2 plus 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 2 plus 4 is 8, and now we have two, uh, sorry, sorry, six. This is seven and this is six. We have to make the correction because we know that this number is bigger than that number. We have to take the complement of this number, the 
complementary distance. Okay, so we take the complement of this number, we subtract, we subtract this from 99 again, 99 minus uh, 67 is equal to 3, 2. We add one as a correction, the result is 33. But here 33 is here, there is no, here, there is no carry here, so this is negative number. Okay, now the procedure is, the general procedure is, if we subtract, this is bigger number minus smaller number. N now we take the complement of the smaller number to get a 78. Now we do the addition between 55 and 78 to get the direct output. There is no correction here because this is just the plus 33. But if this is a bigger, the, the number here is bigger than the, the one that, that, that we are subtracting bigger number from smaller, this means we have to to make the complement of this number, take the complement of this number, then make the addition normally, but we have to correct this number again and make uh, another complement. We make the complement two times, two times, two times. We make it two times here, but here, here we, we make it only one time. Because this is the normal subtraction, we subtract small number from big number, but this is not normal because we subtract bigger number from small number. So we, we need to make the complement two times here. Here we do it just one time. That's very important because all the examples here, we'll talk about that in detail. So here, this is smaller number. We need to make the tensor complement the tensor complement is implemented here by subtracting that number from nine, uh, three nines and add one. This is uh, the complement. Uh, so we add them together. So this is the number and we have a carry of one. This means this is positive number. But for the uh, bigger number to the right hand side, this means this is not the normal uh, subtraction. So this is not the normal subtraction. We have to take the tensor complement for this number. Then we make the addition. We make the addition here. And, but here, there is no end carry. This means we have to make a complement again. We have to make the correction to the tensor complement of this number, which is 69282. This is negative number because we make the, the complement two times. We will use unsigned subtraction to motivate the use of, of complemented representation. Unsigned means we don't uh, we don't uh, we we don't consider the carry as signed number. We just ignore it. The ones complement. The ones complement. It's just a very simple. All zeros is converted to one, and all one is converted to zero. <clears throat> this is one ones a complement. Just conversion, converter. We need converter to convert convert this number. Uh, yeah, so if you add this number to its complement, this number is added to its complement, we take one, 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 all of all ones. This is the complement. Uh, the complement can be accomplished by simple uh, converter uh, circuit. Yes, this is just a converter circuit to implement the ones of complement. <clears throat> This is just converted. Zero is converted to one. Was converted to zero. Zero is converted to one. One zero zero one. One zero zero one. Two is complement. It just one's a complement, and then we add one to after taking the one's a complement. So we take the one's a complement. Uh, the one's a complement. It just convert the zero to one. 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 One to zero. One to zero. Zero to one. One to zero. Then we add one to the result. Uh, just like we have uh, nines, uh, the nines are complement, then we add one to, to get the tens of complement. Here, <clears throat> here we have the, um, uh, the addition of the two numbers. Instead of, uh, uh, actually instead, this is the toast complement. Instead of, uh, of using this uh, con convert, then uh, add, we have very straightforward way. I don't know if you know about it or not. We want to convert this number to two's complement. We leave all zeros to, uh, there is no intact. 
yeah, I mean, you leave the right hand side zeros integral without any change and put that one here and then convert toggle. Toggle means convert one to zero, zero to one, one to zero. You understand this? Okay, let me repeat it again. We start from right hand side like that. I'm, I'm looking to the zeros, pass, pass, pass. All of them then stop here. I put all the zeros here. Then one, and also take the first one and put it here. And then after that, I change every one to zero and every zero to one. And that's it. There is no convergent. There is no additional one. Just a straightforward way to get the two's complement. <clears throat> yes, this way, the, that's that's the, what I'm talking about. Zeros all, uh, the, uh, all zeros and one, and the first one is passed, and then every zero is converted to one, and every one is converted to zero. And this is the two's complement of the number, how to make it. Now, if I want to subtract two numbers, I have to uh, calculate the difference between the two numbers. Yes, uh, by using the addition. So I want to have the two's complement of this number. So 19 minus 30 means 21. 21 is not correct. So we have to take the complement. 21 is not correct, why? This is one zero. Yeah, this is not correct. So my uh, 90, yeah, we subtract the big number that uh, uh, we subtract a big number from a small number. This is, as I told you this, we need two times complement, two times a complement. We complement this subtrahend and then the, diff, the, the, the result we, after addition, we make another complement. Okay, so this is the way we we have. Uh, okay, I leave all of this. There is no. Okay, I leave this because it is not important. Yeah, if no more than uh, m are greater than n and the result is okay. Uh, if a borrow occurs, this means n greater than m, so the result must be subtracted from 2 to the bar n, and minus sign should be appended, as I told you about the previous uh, representation of decimal addition and subtraction. Okay, let's, let's take an example. Okay, let's take an example. Okay, let's take an example, because I know the, the examples... Uh, uh, I pass them uh, fastly, but uh, because they, they are very detailed, the, the details are not needed. Okay, let's uh, subtract uh, eight from, okay, let's take uh, eight minus four. Okay, let me, let me six minus six minus two. This is better. Okay, how to subtract six minus two? We represent six by zero. One, one, zero, and two is represented by what? Zero, zero, one, zero. We won't subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. This means we take the two's complement of this number. The two's complement of this number is what? This is zero, one, and then toggle, one, one. Then we subtract one. Okay. What the result? This is zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. One minus one. So one minus one and one minus one. We have three zeros and the last one we borrow. We need a borrow to borrow one. So uh, no, zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero, okay. And one minus one is zero. One minus one, I don't know, this is a problem here. 
zero one. This is the one you point two's complement. Yeah, this is the two's complement. The result is four. This is one, two, four. This should be one. Why it is not? This two, zero, one. So I put all zeros and the first one, the toggle all of them. And yeah, addition, sorry, what I'm doing is bad. Yeah, it is addition, not, <laughs> sorry about that. We make addition, not subtraction. Okay, sorry, sorry. I, I will not remove this part from the video just to show you that maybe you make the same mistake here. So this is convert taking the, the two's complement, then we convert it to addition. So this is zero, we make it easy. Zero plus zero is zero, one plus one is zero, and the remainder is one. And one plus one plus the remainder or the, the carry is one and the remainder is one. And uh, here, uh, okay, again, zero plus zero is zero, one plus one is zero and the carry is one. One plus one plus one, one is a carry is one, and one plus one is one. As zero is a carry. Okay. This means the result is what? This the, is a positive result, and the result is four, which is expected here. Six minus two is four. This is an expected uh, value. Okay, let's take the opposite number, the opposite way around. So we take it here because maybe we need some more, more uh, space. So two minus uh, six. We have to take the complement of six. <clears throat> this should be what? This should be uh, minus four. But we take the complement of six, which is, let's write that, this down. This is zero, one, one, zero. We take the complement of six. Two's complement is zero, one, and then toggle, zero, one. And then make the addition here, zero plus one. We convert it to addition, not subtraction actually. Zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is zero and carry of one. Uh, one zero plus zero is one. And yeah, zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is zero and the remainder is, is one. And the third one is, yeah, I put the one again, and then I put another one. So here, the, the, the result is what? The result is, is not correct, because this, uh, these are four numbers, but they are not correct. They should be 0, 1, 0, 0. This is not correct. So I have to, to take the complement again of this number. So I take the complement as 0, 0, 1, and toggle to 0. This means we have this as negative number, which is negative of four. Okay, that's how to make the binary addition and subtracting subtraction using the, the carry. But now the problem is what? The problem is to implement a circuit for the addition and subtraction. Okay, I, I just wait for a moment to, for the pray. I, I will pray and then return back to you. So to implement the circuit of uh, subtraction, uh, we need to uh, to uh, have a binary. Uh, this is the binary subtractor and binary adder. We need to make an adder subtractor. I mean, we need an adder and subtractor of the same circuit. Um, here, uh, you know, maybe the result. Uh, uh, there is, yeah, maybe the result need to have, uh, this is subtract or add according to which you, you need to uh, add or subtract. Um, uh, here we have the binary subtractor. So according to the borrow, we have to check for the, the borrow. If we have a, a borrow here, we complement this number and uh, then we have the two's complement. Not uh, every time we need the two's complement. Uh, as I told you, uh, sometimes we need one comp uh, uh, two's complement for one time or two's complement for two times.
we just consider the tooth complement, the first tooth complement. Um, uh, I mean, um, every time we do a tooth complement for the uh, for uh, for the for the sub subtrahend, but not every time we do the uh, the the tooth complement for the result. We will talk about that second tooth complement. We talk about the second tooth. This is the circuit of the second tooth complement. Okay, and according to that, we have the binary adder. Uh, we take the tooth complement. The first tooth complement is, is is mandatory. We do it. Then we have the binary adder, and this is the result. Okay, I, I think this is a little confusing because for me too, because this is not obvious which tooth complement he he is trying to implement. But uh, for the next for the next uh, this is a binary adder. We have a binary subtractor here because we take a tooth complement of uh, the, the, the B uh, tooth complement of the result. I told you about the result. So this is the second tooth complement of the uh, binary subtractor. Okay, let's let's move on and you will see we will return to this uh, circuit because this circuit is very expensive. We will return to it after we uh, we understand the uh, the second algorithm the second algorithm is very straightforward we can use the complement of number to replace the subtraction operation uh, with addition only there is no subtraction we will not implement subtraction circuit uh, that's why we have a binary subtractor here we check the borrow if we have a borrow so we we make the tooth complement then according to the, we need to subtract or add we have the uh, multiplexer to get that result or that result. If it is addition, we get that result to the left. And if it is uh, subtraction, we get the result to the right-hand side. It's a complete binary subtractor circuit and binary ad other circuit together in one circuit. And this is very expensive, but we have the algorithm too that is very efficient and uh, maybe is not too expensive compared to the previous one. So M minus N is equivalent to M plus two's complement of N. I, I told you that if we don't, uh, we need just one complement to make sure that we have the uh, subtraction. And after that, we, maybe we need a correction according to the uh, M and N, which one is greater than the other. Uh, if M is greater than or equal N, we uh, generate a carry. So the result is correct. There is no problem because we, for example, we multiply, we subtract 100 minus 10. 100 minus 10 is like, there is no carry and the result will be positive. If in M is greater than N, like subtracting 10 minus 100, this means we have, we take the correction after, after the addition. After the addition, we take another tools complement to correct the result. Now, uh, it takes an example, for example, this number minus this number, the tooth complement of this number, I told you about this, you can train, you can practice it because I already uh, showed you a very simple example to subtract uh, six minus two is equal four in binary and I showed you the two cases. So this is just a repeat for another example, you can try it, uh, try it at home, try it by your hands and see if the result is, co is correct or not. The tooth complement of the sum. This is uh, this number y is greater than x. <coughs> this means uh, uh, the y is less than x. This uh, y is less than x. This means that the result, which is the sum, should be complemented again. And there's the minus the that is the result is is negative. Now we need to implement the tooth complement approach. We need to implement a circuit for the adder and subtractor at the same circuit. <clears throat> we get rid of the design for subtractor using the tooth complement. If we have tooth complement, it is just addition. There is no subtraction at all. We need only adders and the complementers to input to subtract, uh, the complement for the input to be sub subtracted and the selective complementer because not every time 
we will make complement for the second stage. After the uh, addition, maybe we need a complement or we don't need according to which one is greater than the other M or N, which one is greater than the, the other. Uh, so the, we can, uh, how can we uh, design the uh, selective complement? Uh, A plus the tooth complement of B. So just B here, we need the tooth complement of B. M maybe it's very straightforward. We can, if we need the, the one's complement, because one's complement is simple. We can make inverter to the B. We invert B. This, this is simple, the one's complement. And then we add one to the result. So C0 will be one. If it is one here, so we have one plus the complement of B, which is the inverted B, then we have the, the complement of B, if we need subtractor. But we have to make a control, uh, control that uh, is able to select between addition and subtraction. Uh, again, again, if I want to convert the circuit to subtraction, what will I do? I just convert B0. B2, B1, B2, B3, how to convert it just to converter. So B0 equal to is converted using just a converter. If you know about the converter, it's very straightforward. Do that like that. Just convert B and convert to B, uh, B0 and B1, yes, and so on. And then C0 would be one. Now we have the toast complement because we converted each bit and then we add one to the result. This is the mean, this, this is one of the definition of the toast complement. This way we have a subtractor, but we need some circuit to select between other and sub subtractor. I want to know how to select between other and subtractor. So this way, yes, this is just a converter. This is the ones and then we uh, attach the C not one. Uh, this is the, the this is the adder and this is the subtractor. How to make a circuit to select between these two circuits? Uh, if we look at the uh, uh, the control circuit, is this control circuit? Uh, we have multiplexer uh, to uh, multiplexer to select between B zero and the complement of B zero. Um, uh, and uh, according to this control, we put either we put zero here or put one, because if this is one, uh, the B zero, if this is one, uh, this B zero will be uh, passed the two uh, as the, to the output. If this is zero, so B zero will be passed to the output. And this is zero, so zero. And here uh, the B, uh, B zero is uh, passed to here, so B zero, A zero, zero this means this is addition but if this is one this means that that one will be passed to the output so this is b0 complement here b0 complement and add one here because this is one so one plus a0 plus b0 complement this is exactly subtraction so if this is but how to implement this multiplexer the multiplexer this is the control so if this is zero, the, uh, there is a, the multiplexer will be output B0. If this is one, the multiplexer will, uh, will be output B0 complement. And accordingly, we want to have this multiplexer. If you think about the uh, X and Y here, so this is the control, S, uh, X is the control. If this is the control circuit, if this is S, what do you expect? If this S means that I move, <clears throat> I move, the uh, the data without a change zero is equal to zero is moved to zero one is moved there is no change but if it is one this means it is complement so zero is moved to one and one is complemented to zero this is s this means we can use this circuit as a multiplexer this we can this means we can use the xor circuit as a, the our multiplexer that we have seen before this is the control and according to the value if we have zero, there is no change. If we have one, we have complement. Now, yeah, this is the the the, the result here. Uh, B zero is passed to this XOR. According to the value here, if this is one, we will uh, uh, complement this value. If this is zero, there is no change in B zero. 
And if it is zero, this means we have adding, we are adding zero to the input. This means this is addition circuit. And if this is one, so we are, we are complementing uh, the Bs to be complement and adding one to the complemented values. This means the tools complement. So we have tools complement. Uh, uh, this means this is a subtractor. So if the S is zero, this addition. If S is one, this is a subtractor. Now we implemented, this way we implemented the other subtractor circuit. But this one, this means that we complement. Uh, and don't forget about the, the, the second tools complement. Don't forget about that. You have to check for that. We didn't implement it and we will not talk about this in this lecture. lecture. So uh, this is uh, all for today's lecture. And thank you very much for listening to me and watching how we implemented. First, we have implemented the, we understand the addition, the full adder, the half adder first, then we implemented full adder. Uh, using full adder, we implemented the ripple binary adder, and then we implemented BCD adder, uh, even PCD with one digit or two digits from zero to nine or from zero to 99. And also we moved to use the tools complement concept to make a subtractor subtraction very easy because we, we converted the, the subtraction to addition to make it very easy to us to make a circuit for the subtraction. We used the concept of tools complement to have other and subtractor at the same circuit. We designed it and we implemented it. Thank you again and uh, looking forward to see you inshallah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.